Hi there, and welcome to my pottery channel. Today I'm going to show you how to construct this variable speed turntable. Now I use this quite a lot when I'm spraying glaze onto the pots. You get a nice even coat and you can create these interesting effects really quite simply. So without further ado, we'll get on with the construction. Just give you some detail on the construction. You can see the turntable is just fixed into the chuck of the drill. So you just release that and the turntable comes off. And the drill is just pushed down into this old esky, old Coleman's esky, which measures around about 250 millimetres by 190 by 170 deep. I've had this for a long time, I think I picked it up from uh, Kmart, it was very cheap. And the drill just pushes in to the esky, and if you need to recharge the uh, battery, there's a pin here that comes out, which is just an old Allen key. And then you can flip the lid up, just slide it out, and then the drill comes out, like this recharge the battery come to put it back in there's no um, additional fixing required for the drill you just literally just pushes in place there it's quite solid and you get a bit of extra support from the uh, from the lid too and then the lid construction it's got a hole here obviously the diameter of that is just slightly larger than the uh, the top of the drill here and then the speed controller is actually a threaded bolt now the bolt, as you unscrew the bolt, it moves out, you screw it up, it moves in, and that pushes up, the end of that pushes up against the trigger of the drill. So the further it's screwed in, the more it pushes on the trigger, and the faster the turntable runs. Now I've just got a nut here, which is glue gun to the top of the lid, and one glue gun to the bottom there uh, it just screws into that, that makes it quite solid and this is a 10mm bolt so once you've charged the battery you want to put the lid back on just locks in place there slides over there and then you can just place the pin back in there and then as I say as you as you screw that down, you can see that you can vary the speed of the drill like that. A little more detail on the turntable. The turntable is 150 millimeters in diameter. It's 10 millimeters in thickness, and I've actually constructed it with a. This is a, this is actually a collet from an old model aeroplane. It held the uh, propeller onto the motor, and um, I've just fixed that on with an additional support here, which is an old breadboard which I cut up. But you don't need to use that, you could just use a countersunk bolt, just countersink it into the top here with a nut underneath, do the nut up, and then just push the, uh, push the bolt straight into the chuck of the drill, and that would do the same job. And the great thing about this is, of course, being removable, you can take it off to clean it if you, um, if you get overspray onto it. So that's the turntable completed. As you can see, it packs away quite neatly. You can even carry it around with a handle. So if you enjoyed this video, please like it, maybe subscribe to the channel. And thanks very much for watching.